This is a tutorial on how to download and install a print driver for a KISS or a multifunction device on a Mac. First, you need to find out what version uh, of the Mac you're running. Click on the little Apple, go to About This Mac, go to System Software. And this is the way I've found out what, what the software level is. Uh, it is uh, uh, 10.11, so next step would be to go to Kyocera Document Solution website so here I've already brought it up um, click on this will bring up your uh, what your what your product that you want to download the drivers for so let's say this is a color machine we will click on the, the color MFP drop down here and we'll select what machine version it is so I can uh, select something like a <clears throat> excuse me 3551 I have one on on our floor so you want to select a print driver and you go find once you're in find you will have a list of all the different uh, driver uh, ver for different versions of Mac. This is the, the driver that we need, the 10.11. Select that and then if you click on download it will download the file and then you'd have to uh, install it. Well let's try that anyways. So we download this file. This is going to take a little bit of time to uh, download so okay let's see here here we go downloading it right now it's gonna take a little bit of time once you're done with this it's gonna um, want to open the the file and that way you can uh, run the installer software. All right here we go. So I saw something pop up down here. Okay, you can also go here and just double click on this to to run it to extract it. Here we go. Here's our installer. So just double click on that and go through the different prompts next continue yes I agree and it will tell you how big a file it is tell it to install enter your uh, admin admin password and tell it to install running a bunch of stuff on the background while it's installing this done say close and close this at this point you can also uh, close out the the website there we're not going to need it anymore let's see now let's go in here and let's pull up the printers and scanners here's our printers and scanners window and let's go and add a printer in the default bonjour it finds a lot of printers on our network here I normally like to use an IP address because sometimes the bonjour kind of gets kind of uh, glitchy but anyhow here's our oops wrong IP address so while I'm typing that in it will go out and see if it, it'll find that it finds my <clears throat> my uh, uh, printer that I want to enter on there usually on the name we'll have the IP address we'll just call it um, so, wish I knew how to type 
and I tell it to add, continue, has uh, three and four cassettes out there, so OK. And now that printer is now added to uh, my set of printers that I can use. Close that out and say I have something that I can uh, have to print, so I will just put in a Once I've done with that, I can go file print. We'll pull up our uh, printer window and then we select our sales printer. You can also uh, show details here, uh, especially with multifunction devices, you're going to have a lot of different uh, settings that could be in here. Uh, for instance, imaging where you can have it as full color or you can change it to black and white have all the other functions but once you're at this point you can just say print and you're now ready to print from to that printer thank you very much for watching my tutorial